All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about feature matching with homography. So we will start off by saying what it is, why do we need it, how does it work, and jump right into a coding example. So by the end of this video, we'll see how we could obtain these feature matching correspondence between these two images. Okay, so what is feature matching with homography? It's finding corresponding features between two images by finding which points map between each other. So it's a way of removing outliers. So if you saw our previous video, there were a lot of bad points. Um, with, with this way, you're using homography to isolate which points we want to keep. So why do we need feature matching with homography? It's for the same reasons as why we would need normal feature matching, but the main important part is removing outliers. Okay, that was the, that was the main point. So how does feature matching with homography work? So the way homography works is it maps uh, points in one plane to another plane. So here we're assuming that our background is far away and it could be approximated as a planar scene. And if you view it in different angles, it's like viewing a plane at different points of view. So the way homography works is you have um, a set of points called x, i, y, i prime, and then another set of points x, i, y, i and some scaled by some value, then you have a matrix H that will do the transformation between the points. So the error between the two points will just be described by the difference between xi minus um, the product, the sum of these values divided by the sum of uh, here for the denominator, and then same for the y, okay? So if you multiply out the matrix and do some math, you'll get this expression. But here is essentially finding the error between the, the two sets of points of what you calculate and what you expect. And the idea is to minimize this error depending on which sets of points you choose. Okay, so with a combination of homography and ransack, so ransack will help us further remove the outliers and to kind of check which one gives us the best points. So the way ransack works is you will iterate through n number of iterations and then try to find the set with the minimum error. So you'll have some threshold that you define. So the random part of this is you'll choose random points and then we'll see how it fits into the homography matrix and see what the reprojection error is. And then determine how many points are good and how many points are bad based off of our error threshold, and then compare with the previous, then if we find out the current one is better, we will store that as the current best model. So here's a picture that represents uh, like a ransack method for um, fitting a line to a bunch of data points. So this, that's the typical idea is you see how many points are outside, how many points are inside, and then you'll determine how good of a fit you have. Okay, so that's a general idea, and it could be expanded to homography and other things as well. Okay, so let's jump right into coding. Okay, so as usual, let's import some of the modules that we'll need. So import OS, import CV to SCV, import uh, matplotlib.pyplot as PLT, and import numpy as NP. So we'll call this function feature matching homography. And then we have our if name equals main, then pass in our feature matching homography. Okay, so inside, let's go ahead and get our path. So root equals os.get cwd, and then image one uh, path here is gonna be os.path.join root and then demo images, tesla.jpg. And we'll repeat this, but now with two. And we'll go ahead and read in our image, image one equals cv.umread, and then we'll pass in our image one path, pass in cv.umread, and we'll do our grayscale version, do the same thing for the second image, so now we read in both images, and then we're gonna create our SIFT feature detector. So SIFT equals CV dot uh, SIFT, and then create here. And we'll get our key points one and our descriptor one, 
equals sift dot detect and compute and we'll pass an image one and none. Do the same thing for the second image. So that's our second image. And then here we have our flan index uh, KD tree, which we'll set equal to one. And we'll have our index params, which we'll define as dict algorithm equals flan index. And then our trees is going to be five. Then we have um, here we'll have our search params. It's going to be another dictionary, and we'll pass in checks equals 50. Then we'll create our flan objects. It's going to be cv.flan base matcher, and we'll pass in our index params and then our search params. And we'll define our end neighbors to be two, and our matches are going to be flan dot kn match, pass in our descriptor one and our descriptor two, k equals um, our n neighbors. So that's setting up our search. Then we're gonna have a list of our good matches here. And inside we're gonna do for m n in matches. And then if m dot uh, distance is less than 0 0.7 times n dot distance. We're going to append our good match. Okay, so now for the actual homography part, we have our, we're going to define the minimum good matches. Set that equal to 20. I'm going to say if length of uh, good matches is greater than min then we will stop. So we just want to find up to that many. So we'll have some source points equals mp.float32. Uh, and we're going to pass in our key points one, do m.query index, and then dot point for m in good matches. Okay, so we're getting all the points in there. And then we're going to reshape to uh, negative one, one, two. And we'll do the same thing here for our destination points, but now we're using the second. Okay, so we're getting source points and destination points. Here is going to be M and N in our good matches. And we'll reshape them so it'll be more user friendly. And we'll define an error threshold to be five here. So here we're gonna have m m mask equals cv dot uh, find homography. And we'll pass in our source points and then our destination points. And we're gonna use a cv ransack. cv ransack option. And then we'll pass in our error threshold. Okay, so that will give us our potential matches. And then matches mask is going to be mask call dot to list. So this just um, essentially changes the structure of it. And then image one dot shape. We want to draw a box around what the plane has been transformed to. So here we're going to create an image. Uh, border is mp.float. We'll create a box essentially. So we have 0, 0, and then we have 0 to h minus 1. We have um, w minus 1 to h minus 1. And then we have w minus 1 to 0. And we're going to do a reshape to negative 1, 1, 2. And we have a warped image uh, border. And this is, this is where we use uh, our perspective transform that we talked about in a previous video. So image border. And then um, inside, we're going to pass in our mask or our M, M matrix to transform it. And then our image two, we're going to draw some lines using polylines. 
and this will show up um, the border. So we're going to pass in our warped image border and then pass in true for this, 255 for the color and some line options, CV dot line AA. Okay, so otherwise we're going to say print not enough matches. And then we're going to do matches mask equals none. Okay, so now we're going to do some more plotting. So we're going to have green equals um, 0, 255, 0. So we're going to have a draw params equals our dictionary. We're going to have our match color equals green. And then we have our single point color equals none. Then our matches mask equals our matches mask. And then finally, we have our flags equals CV dot draw matches. And we're going to choose an option that says not draw single points. That's a simplified drawing. And then lastly, we have our image uh, match here. It's going to be CV dot draw matches. And we're going to pass in our image one, our key points one, our image two, our key points two, and then our good matches, none for the next parameter, and then our draw parameters. Now we could do our figure. And we have plt.mshow, pass in our image match, and then draw in gray, then plt.show. So if I run this, uh, this should map out all the good matches based off of the homography and ransack. And then it should remove all the outliers that were bad matches um, based off of our threshold values that we chose. So we will see it in a bit after it's done running. Okay, there was a small typo here that I corrected. So this should be M query IDX and this is M train IDX. Okay, so after that, you see that we obtained our matches that have good results here. And you can see all the outliers have been removed from the previous video. And this white box here is the viewpoint as if we took the image on the left here. So that kind of corresponds to what we expect because this image is like head on with the car. This image here is like to the left of it, so it's as if we were looking at it from some diagonal view. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.